Is this focused? Is this focused? Okay, if I could advocate one thing and I want you to take away one thing from this video is don't ever film with a DSLR while you're driving. It's like the worst thing you can do. It's so difficult. I decided to make a video today. I know it's kind of weird. It's kind of random. I haven't uploaded in like I don't even know how many months, maybe even a year, but today I decided to actually make a video and um, kind of explain where I've been, what I've been doing, um, very briefly, uh, because that's actually not the point of this video. So I mean, I guess I could put it in short, the reason I haven't been uploading uh, is because I've been working. When I'm not working, I'm doing something else and I'm not doing anything at all. Usually I don't even feel like making a video, so. But today, for some reason, I just, felt like making a video and oh got a text message oh, and that's my girlfriend and I am seriously the most distracted unsafe driver that you could possibly imagine right now so and there's like a big dump truck in front of me I don't know if you can see that but it's a, actually no that's a trash truck but anyways getting off topic like always it's off to a good start I can already tell um, I've actually make I'm actually making this video today to show you guys how I take my pictures for my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, actually uh, you should be, so do it. Boom. Uh, but yeah, no, follow my Instagram for real. Um, I post a lot of car, video, car pictures, a lot of pictures of myself, and I think I got, you know, I think I got a pretty good aesthetic going on. Uh, been working on my, my layout, you know, those popular, uh, layouts that people like to do with the color feeds and everything um, okay hang on a second guys I'm just getting out on the highway here so got to start shifting my gears you know how I like to shift my gears but yeah so um, I think I will actually go through really quickly and show you guys kind of my process on how I do things um, when I'm going out and taking pictures um, a little bit of how I find my spots to take my pictures I know I get that I get that question a lot is, is where do I go to find my pictures how do I find places to take pictures of my car uh, where's that spot at um, hopefully I can help you guys out with some of that and nail some of that out of the way right now um, but yeah so Currently, I'm going to pick up my girlfriend. Oh, that's another thing, I got a girlfriend. Um, so, that explains a lot. When I'm not working, I'm with her. She's actually gonna be coming along. I'll probably introduce her into the video. Hopefully she doesn't break up me like a week after, because that would suck. But that would be my luck, so who cares? <laughs> but yeah, so, going to pick her up from her work. Then we're gonna go probably look for my first spot. I'll probably be taking a picture. Is this quality okay? Yeah, it's all right. I'll probably be taking pictures of my car, myself with my car, and maybe maybe even some pictures of my girlfriend um, as well. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up, and then I will see you guys when I get her. Um, just really quickly, if you're new, my name's Jacob. I make car videos. You can call me Jake, Jake, Jacob, whatever you want to call me. Um, I make car videos. I'm also going to be doing some vlogging in the future. I also want to make some Call of Duty videos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that upsets you. It's not going to be car, just car related. I want to make some Call of Duty videos, primarily Black Ops 1. And yeah, so if you guys are into that kind of thing, definitely subscribe. Definitely stay tuned because I'm getting this stuff together to make some gameplays, some live commentaries, and stuff like that. Really pumped about that. I'm so I'm so good. I'm so good at Black Ops. You guys don't even know. Don't even freaking know. But anyways, <laughs> I keep getting off topic, and this is like this is the, this is who I am. I go into these tangents. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right now, and I'm gonna start it back up when I pick up Ashley and. She's gonna get mad at me because I'm gonna film her as soon as she comes up to my car, so look forward to that. Okay, take me off the speaker for like five seconds. 
Okay, you're off speaker. No, I'm not. Okay, but you're off of it now. No, I'm not. Dude, I, I can hear when I'm not and when I am. Okay, well, I can hear you perfectly fine. Can you hear me? Kind of. Well, I asked, did you just leave? No, I left like 15 minutes ago. I'm on my way. Okay. Well, I just clocked out. Alright, well, I'll see you soon then. Okay. Just let me know when you're here. I will. Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. She is this bright enough? I don't think this is bright enough. Oh, 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 almost hitting the car. Oh, so bad, so bad. Okay, but now, now, I'll stop the video here and see when I get her. Her being my girlfriend and me getting hurt and I don't know where I'm going with this but that's okay because this is this is all for fun and I'm having I'm having fun yeah fun good old vlogging fun who who can say they have fun anymore when they make these videos actually a lot of people but anyways okay man. all right I'm, I'm done I'm done Why do I always park over here? Hmm? Why do I what? Why do you look so nice? Why do I look so nice? Yes. I always look this nice. No, but like we're going to the beach. What are you doing? Stop. That's right. Stop. You are being filmed. No. That is exactly right. No. Jacob. This is what happens. This is what happens, guys. Why are you filming? Here is your stuff. Go change. Why are you filming? Because I wanted to make a video. Pro tip, don't Call don't look me. at the lens. Look at the look Call at me. <laughs> I'll be back. Wow. Um I don't know how I feel about that. Uh call her guys. I mean shit. <laughs> um yeah, so that's my GF, aka my girlfriend, aka the girl that I've been dating, aka, still don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, so there's a person next to me um, in a car, and I think they're watching me, so I probably look like an ass, I don't know, but yeah, so um, so a few things that I wanted to, to talk about when it comes to photography with your car, or just photography in general, general, and general, and <laughs> General. General. Um, a few things that you guys should take into consideration when you're taking your photos, where you're taking your pictures at. You don't want to have a you don't want to have a busy background. So, for example, if I'm taking pictures of my car where I'm at right now, you guys think that'll turn out okay? You guys think that'll look good? Hail to the no. There's a tree, there's a light post, a trash can, an uh, entrance to Kirkland's, some lady looking at some damn candles or some sh No, you don't, you don't want a busy background. You want something very clean, simplistic. I think people get carried away when they're taking their pictures. They'll go out and just take them wherever they're at because they like their car and they just want to take a nice picture of their car. But they'll be in the middle of a Walmart parking lot and it's like... Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, definitely dumb your backgrounds down. Um, that is the biggest first tip that I can give anyone that's first starting out with taking pictures of their car, themselves, whatever. The lighting should be good. That is another thing, actually. Pick your weather nicely. And what I mean by that is when you go out to shoot, you either want cloudy or partly cloudy. You do not want sunlight. And if you do go out in the sunlight, make sure you go out usually an hour before sunset or an hour after sunrise. You don't want harsh light simple background these are the ingredients to making a awesome picture just follow these steps guys i promise you your pictures will come out like amazing like you're welcome also before we go anywhere else i've got to fill up my gas tank what? oh welcome back hi welcome back to the car Stop. welcome back to the vlog welcome back to life what are you doing you want to know how to make someone feel awkward 
put a, put a camera, camera on their face. <laughs> put a camera in their face. Okay, let's go. Guys. All right, first we gotta get gas though. I want Chick Fil A. So that's what we gotta do. Yeah, we'll get Chick Fil A too. Okay, so we're gonna get gas first, parking garage, then Chick Fil A, then the beach. We'll do that now. Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> right now, buy three 12-ounce Red Bull energy drinks for just $7. Okay, so we made it to the parking garage. We went and ate Chick-fil-A. Now we out here. It did rain, so I do have like these water droplets on my car. Honestly though, I don't think that'll affect the picture that much. So. What I'm actually gonna do is set up my tripod. You don't have to shoot on a tripod, but it's a good idea to. It's good practice to shoot on a tripod, especially if you're in low light. It takes away any kind of camera shake, any kind of possibility of any blur that would happen inside your photo. I'll show you guys what the setup looks like whenever I get it done and walk you through my process on what settings I use on my DSLR. So yeah, stay tuned for that because that's that's that good good. And look over here. We have a, we have another photo sesh going on over here. Selfies. We have a photo sesh within a vlog sesh within another photo sesh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just look at that. Wow. Ain't that amazing. A few moments later. Okay, so remember what I was saying earlier about you don't want harsh lighting? Well, I found a good a great rule of thumb to know if you're in harsh lighting. If you walk out into the sun, out of the shade, if you have to squinch your eyes like I do, you know you're in harsh lighting. Another way to tell is, look how sharp this shadow is. It's just a straight edge shadow, there's no feathering. This is not what you want. So, with that being said, there is a cloud way out here. The sun's right there, and the clouds are over there. I refuse to shoot in this just because it's not good lighting. The picture's not gonna come out good. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually go down to a level below this one where it's undercover and there's shade. And even that is better than shooting in, in this direct sunlight. It's just, the sun's on top of us. There's no clouds diffusing the sun. It's not gonna come out good. If you're ever out trying to shoot a picture, the sun's directly above you or you're squinting your eyes or the shadows just look like a straight edge. There's no feathering to them. Do yourself a favor, don't even take the picture because it's it's not gonna come out good. It's, I'm gonna try to go down to the second level and see what I can come up with. Hopefully we can get something better than what we have right now, but we'll try to adjust to what we're given and see what we can come up with, so. Let me go ahead and move on down and see what it looks like down there. Dude, it is like super hot, a quote by Ashley. Um, but no, it seriously is hot in here, but lighting is a little bit better. Um, I think I have an idea of how I wanna take this picture. I don't know if it's gonna come out well, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh, there's someone above us. They're gonna be coming down over there. So I got the car right here. Can't brighten it up, but in the photo, it'll come out brighter. I'm probably gonna get in front of the car like this. I'm gonna have the LEDs on, and hopefully it'll come out okay. Gonna set the tripod up right here. Calm down. Simmer down. All right. So, yeah, no, don't do that ever. So yeah, it'll look way better. A few things that are bugging me about this though, this level three sign, I can actually take that out on Photoshop. There's some stains in the ground that'll get taken out. These yellow lines, I can actually take out. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but I can get rid of that. So this is what I'm talking about when I say, when I say clutter. You don't want stuff like that in your shot. No stains on the ground, no lines, light posts, just things that are gonna distract the person looking at your photo. I'm gonna go ahead and start shooting. Um, I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Hopefully I can get something good. And yeah. He wants Make to be... Make sure you wear protective eyewear when you're doing this. Oh. So, this is my, my setup. God. Follow me, come on. It's okay. Don't be afraid, get a shot of this. Okay, but hopefully you guys have a full knowledge of, or some knowledge of how DSLR works. I wanna be shooting in full manual. Another thing, make sure you're shooting your pictures in raw format. So I'm gonna set my aperture as low as it'll go, which is 4.5. Um, shutter speed doesn't really matter as long as it's properly lit. And it looks like it's lit. 
<laughs> Usually I like my shots personally to be a little bit on the darker side, so I'll actually bring it a stop darker. Make sure your ISO is at least on 100, no more than 200. Here's his little camera thing. This is behind the scenes. It's ridiculous. He just turned his lights on. It never sounds like that. He's only making it sound like that for the video. What did you just say? I want to know what you said. <laughs> hey guys. So, Jacob's filming right now. And he's making me film him. And there he is. Wearing fake glasses. <laughs> hey. He's not He's blind. He's not blind at all. These he's a fake. Are he's a fake. He thinks he's cute. But uh the camera. We're backing this stuff up. Come on. Follow me. It's already so far. Get in on this. Point of focus are gonna be on these headlights. So we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna adjust the brightness. So that looks good. I can actually lower the aperture to 1.8. Got your focus right. And I'm gonna go ahead and click shoot. And that's what we got right there. I'm gonna get a different angle. It's always good practice. <laughs> to, no, not you. I said it's always good practice to get different angles. Yeah, you definitely wanna make sure you're shooting in raw when you're taking these. Um, Cause I edit on Lightroom and if you shoot in raw, it recovers. You can recover a lot of lost data, which I know that sounds really nerdy and actually smiling as I said that, but you can seriously recover a lot of like lost light, or if the picture's too dark, you can bring back a lot of detail in the shot. So if you're not shooting on RAW, you probably should. If you don't have Lightroom, you also probably should. So, yeah. That's why I wore the glasses. So I know, this is, this is, this is what I do when I want you guys to take me seriously. I don't ever take it serious, so you shouldn't either. Look at them buddy clubs. What's a buddy club? A buddy club? Those are my taillights. Oh. <laughs> those, that's, the, that's the brand of taillights that I have. Let's go look at them since he says they're so amazing. They look like every other car. What do you have to say? Say about what? Your taillights. They look average. <laughs> you look average. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Okay, so I was wondering why it was starting to get so dark. Um, well, the clouds are now here. So unfortunately, we jumped the gun, uh, went and did something else instead of waiting for the clouds, but I feel like it's about the storm, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, but make sure, uh, one thing that I want you guys to take home with this video is that you always wear protective eye gear when you're f taking pictures, because you never know something could go drastically wrong you can lose an eye doing this make sure you're always protecting yourself and protect others probably gonna head back to the house now I'm gonna try to get um, some screen capture software on my computer so that way you guys get some good quality I do have a microphone for um, when I start up my uh, my gameplay commentaries I have a blue snowball microphone so that'll come out pretty good hopefully you can test that out finally and I can show you guys somewhat of my editing processes whenever I go through these photos. I usually have a process that I always do. I usually do the same things. I will go through with that whenever I get home. So yeah, let's go on an adventure again, because I'm adventurous. There we go. Now I can see you. Uh, How are you not get so close to me? Uh, okay, um, now we are in Lightroom, finally. Um, so, quick little backstory. I actually had to go back and redo the pictures because I accidentally deleted them. Um, but actually what I came out with now is actually a lot better. Um, I was able to shoot in some better settings, better lighting. And this is the shot that I'm going to use um, to show you guys my editing process on. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through everything that I do. First thing, 
Um, I usually go to lens correction, uh, remove chromatic aberration, uh, enable profile corrections. Then I'll go into detail, use this, and I select a point to focus on. And we'll just do the headlights right here. And generally speaking, I don't go above 80. I keep it somewhere in a sweet spot between 60 and 70. Um, for this one, I'm going to do 64. And then I go in here in the masking, hold Alt, click and drag. Anything that's white is affected. Anything that's black isn't. Um, so I'm going to go right about here to 69. <laughs> and then luminance, I'm going to bring up just a little bit. Uh, generally, I don't go over 30 with this. I'm going to go to about 23-ish would look good. Um, this is just adding a little bit of sharpening, not a whole lot. Okay, and something that I did notice um, in this recording software on OBS, um, the quality looks like <laughs> uh, BS. <laughs> um, so the picture is going to come out way different than what it actually looks like on here. So just kind of bear with me on this. Um, You'll see the picture, I'll post it to my Instagram. But anyways, um, after I do my detail, I'll usually go up to basic. I don't do a whole lot. Um, I don't mess with this too much because usually my white balance is on point. Um, exposure, you can mess with that if you want to for this one. Um, I'm gonna make it a tiny bit darker, but not a lot. You can add contrast if you want. Um, this one I'm gonna leave alone. Um, I will bring the highlights down. Let's see. That's too much. Um, I'll bring those down midway. Negative uh, 50. And then shadows. Actually going to pull my shadows down a little bit on this one. Uh, whites and blacks. If you just click and hold alt. It'll show um, what's oversaturated. Whites. You don't want to show any color. You just want it to be black. So plus 17. And then black, so you can have a little bit of color. Just click and hold Alt and drag down. Right about there is good. Um, clarity, I don't go over like 10 usually. I try not to go over anything like that. If you do clarity, you got to be careful with this one. It can really make your pictures look really choppy. Um, vibrance, I'm actually going to go down on a little bit. We'll do negative 2 and negative... Let's see, negative 2 on each of those. Now, I know this is very, very subtle changes, but I'm in the belief that multiple small changes help affect the overall image of your photo that you're making. Um, anyways, I do mess with my colors a little bit. Um, if you go into the HSL color, BNW, um, saturation is clicked. Um, I don't want any oranges. I don't want any yellows in this shot. That's just going to get rid of these lines over here. Really simple, it helps add a flatter image. Um, all these other colors I'm just gonna leave because everything else I want. Um, so that is basically it. Um, you can go into effects, you can add a vignette if you want, or you can actually, there's another way you can do that. I personally think this is a better way. Radial filter, click and drag. And then you can actually adjust the points in this filter. If you just double click effect, drag this down, you can get a much more accurate, better looking vignette than you would with uh, using the one that's defaulted on here. So, but I'm not gonna use that. Actually, I need to cancel out of that. I don't need a vignette. The picture's already dark enough to where I want it to be. Um, I usually like my pictures darker than normal. And I like to have some form of black in them. So whether it be a shirt that I'm wearing, whether it be my car, or anything, uh, really. So one more thing I'll just show you guys really quick is how I use Photoshop to edit my pictures, which I don't do a lot in Photoshop, but I will show you my process for Photoshopping. So in Lightroom, um, if you just right-click, edit in Photoshop, it'll pull up Photoshop for you. Um, I do have the paid version of Lightroom and Photoshop CC. Uh, it's only $10 a month, so if you guys do a lot of pictures, if you edit a lot of photos, I would highly recommend getting this. 
it's so worth it because you don't have to worry about trying to find torrent downloads. You don't have to worry about not having the latest updates. It updates everything for you. Um, it saves you a lot of time trying to do it's time and stress trying to get all this crap. Um, I think it's definitely worth the ten dollars a month. It ain't gonna break my bank. So okay, so once this uh, loads up, I'll show you guys my process for this, which I don't do a lot. Um, actually, it's very very minuscule depending on the type of photo that I'm using. So okay. All right, once this loads up, go ahead and just uh, duplicate your layer. Okay, all right, um, I'll just show you what I usually use. I usually use either spot healing brush tool um, or I use a, some form of content aware fill, which if you don't know what that is, I'll show you briefly. So if you go to the spot healing tool, let me just zoom in on the spot that I'm gonna get removed here. This little white speck right here kind of stands out to me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Spot healing brush tool. Click. Boom. It's gone. Uh, really, really easy way just to get rid of crap that you don't want on your film or on your video, on your picture. <laughs> um, I'll do the same thing with a couple other of these other whited out, big, black, whited areas. Um, just because they kind of stand out to me and I kind of want it flatter. So once you do that a few times and you get the kind of picture that you're looking for, um, that looks good to me. Just sometimes some things just stand out to me and I just want to get rid of. I just go through like that. Really, really simple. And then all you have to do after that is I just I just exit out and it'll ask if I want to save. I just click yes. I don't change the name or anything. Just leave that all the same. And if you're running Photoshop CC like I am, it'll actually bring it right back into your Lightroom with the changes that you just made. So if you want to come back in Lightroom and make some more adjustments, you can do that also. Um, but where this is at right now, I think this is good enough for me. So here's the before and then here's the after. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more flat. Um, export settings, I guess I can go through that really quick. Right here you can actually make presets. I highly suggest doing that. It'll save you a lot of time, but I'll go through them anyways. Um, here is just where you export your, your file location. You can add a name if you want. Video, don't mess with. File settings, JPEG, sRGB, uh, quality 100. Image sizing I don't mess with. Output sharpening, you can sharpen for screen if you want to. I honestly don't think it makes that big of a difference. Um, watermarking, I used to do this. Uh, you don't have to. I used to do my Jake underscore FL underscore, which is my Instagram, and I'd have it in the bottom right corner. Post processing, I don't mess with. So I have this, all this bunched into a little preset called Instagram 2.0, then I have an original with Instagram. So all I do is click this, click export, Boom, done. It saves exactly where I want to. Then I, I email it to myself with Dropbox. And yeah, so simple as that. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, my whole setup's actually going to be linked in the video. Uh, my camera, tripod, anything that you guys want to use that I use in this video. The Amazon link is going to be in there. If you do click it and you do make a purchase, I do get commission on it. So I'd really appreciate if you guys did that. If not, that's totally fine. I'm not going to be intrusive about it. But I do really want to thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry that I haven't been uploading that much. Um, if I could just sum this video up, make sure your focus is good, lighting is good, your editing is simple, and your background is not busy. Those are the ingredients to make a good picture. Um, and if you do all those things, I think it will all reflect in a great picture. Whether you're taking pictures of your car, uh, yourself, your grandma, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, it'll all come out way better than usual. Uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. And click the like button if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye.